Welcome, Magnus here, and today we're going to talk about the R5's possible overheating solution when it comes to recording that a company's putting out, and also another workaround for overheating that actually I did with 8K, that basically I couldn't overheat the camera no matter how long I recorded. So if you like this type of stuff, definitely consider subscribing. I talk about it all the time and with camera news and everything going on today. So welcome. Let's start off with this article that I read. Now this article from YM Cinema Magazine stated that there's this company called Kalari Vision that created a copper plate that will pretty much be offered to be installed by that company themselves or they'll sell you an R5 with a $400 markup to have that copper plate already installed and you'll be able to get longer record times off of your R5 because it does like better heat dissipation. Now, there's number of different solutions that came, that the internet came up with when it comes to overheating fixes, but this one seems to be one that a company's offering say, "Hey, we'll do it for you and you'll be able to actually record longer times of 8K with your camera." Now, it didn't say that it actually pretty much removes the need for overheating warnings at all. It just kind of said you'll be able to record like double your recording time just with this copper installation that you'll be able to get on your R5. Now it did say that the price is $400 and according to the website, there would be the chance or you probably definitely would guaranteed be voiding your warranty on your R5 if you have this service done. But according to them, the service will give you a one-year warranty for their fix from them, but then you won't have Canon's warranty, which actually kind of concerns me. So me personally, I'm not a fan of like that type of uh, third-party solution. I'd rather kind of stick with Canon. And I don't think the need to record for long periods of 8K or 4K 120 have come up to the point where I desperately need this solution and will pay an additional $400 just to get double the recording time and then completely void my warranty. I'm not doing that with this expensive camera. But would you guys actually consider getting a $400 add-on to your camera, voiding the warranty just to get a stretch more recording time and still be less of a price than purchasing an A1? Let me know. But actually, on that note of extending recording times, I previously made a video on way around overheating, which was sticking the, the camera in a freezer. And I was basically able to record well over an hour of 8K raw, actually, 8K raw, without any concern of overheating for a while. But it did eventually shut down on me after recording for, for a bit over an hour. And that was when I pulled it out of the freezer for just 10 minutes. But not everyone's comfortable doing that, and I completely understand, so I thought, is there any other type of workaround that is practical that wouldn't void a warranty like, like what we heard here? And I actually just gave something a shot. Now, a while ago, I had done 60 frames per second 4K while having a fan actually blowing on the side of my camera to see if that would work. And I tried that recently. So what I did was I, I put a fan next to my R5, started recording some footage, and I noticed that I was able to get a lot longer recording times with my fan, but this time I wanted to push the 8K. Now I recorded 8K IPB with the fan blowing next to it because I wanted to see how far I could stretch the R5. And I made several recordings right here. In this first recording, now this was the first of many recordings, I was pushing the camera to about 20 minutes 20 minutes, no overheating warning, even though the R5 said I had about 15 minutes. So on that first recording here, because I only showed like snippets of what I recorded, first recording here, no overheating warning, and I'm approaching 20 minutes. So that's that. So when I turned the camera on again, this was after it had recorded a full 30 minutes. Now the Canon R5 is saying I have five minutes left of record time. So I just hit the record button again. So I recorded a full 30 minutes with a fan blowing next to the R5 and it's saying, okay, you have five minutes left. So did it stretch the time by a full another five minutes? Well, I started the camera up there and I started recording and upon monitoring it, 
23 minutes in, still no overheating warning. This is approaching almost an hour. This is 53 minutes of straight recording. Then I start getting an overheating warning at around 23 minutes. So this is actually 53 minutes of recording with the fan next to me. So you still got overheating warning. And I was running on battery. You could see I was still full battery here. I was using the Canon battery. And as time went on, it didn't really stop recording. I got another couple minutes there. So I stopped the camera. I'm like, if I approach 30, I'll turn on the camera. So when I approached another 30 minutes, close to an hour, overheating warning still coming. And I'm recording 8K IPB, not raw. So I can just have enough uh, space on the card to do all of this. So I recorded 8K IPB. And I'm like, okay, let's see how much time I have left with that overheating warning flashing constantly. So after recording an hour, it says, okay, you have two minutes left. Two minutes left of straight recording. I'm like, all right, well, I have two minutes left. Fan's still blowing on the Canon R5. Let me start continue recording. So with a fan blowing next to it, no modifications to this R5, I wanted to see how much longer I could get. So on the next video, I'm like, well, I'm, I've got a lot more than two minutes. I'm at the 10 minute mark. Um, so this is an hour and 10 minutes of straight recording. Still getting, still getting recording time, just moving forward, pushing forward. So I was pretty impressed. Overheating warning just doesn't stop flashing, but the camera is not shutting down. So as I kept going, it never stopped flashing the overheating warning. But now I'm approaching an hour and a half of straight recording. Straight recording, which was impressive. I'm like, holy cow, a fan is really doing its job. Now, granted, it was right next to the camera and a fan noise would probably be annoying, right? Now, if you have fan noise constantly on the camera, if you're like doing an interview and stuff and you have the person mic'd up correctly, you can probably record a long interview. Sure, every half an hour the camera would stop, but you could record a long video in 8K and not really have an issue with overheating if you've got a fan blowing on it. Granted, you'll have that light blinking on you and it might make you nervous, but the camera would not overheat on me despite the warning. So he, here it is still blowing another, this is approaching an hour and a half. Second time it's coming up on a half an hour. So this will be at the end of this clock, it's an hour and a half of recording 8K IPB. And the room temperature, just for your information, was about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So it was not a particularly warm room, but it wasn't cold either. So movie recording stopped. One minute left. So it went from two, it took a whole half an hour to drop just one minute of recording time. So what did I do? I hit that record button again and kept recording. Camera battery was dying. You can see that it dropped to significantly like one to one battery because again, I'm recording, not stopping recording constantly on this battery. And this battery pretty much lasted a while. It was, it's the Canon LPE6 and H battery, the one that came with the camera. So still kept recording, still kept recording for a while, 10 minutes in. And I'm wondering what's going to happen here. So we're now at an hour and 40 minutes. And this was my final recording when it started approaching an hour and 45 minutes because you had a simultaneous blink, the power for the battery and overheating warning that really never went away. Now, remember, it said I only had a minute left. Obviously, that it almost meant nothing because that fan blowing on the side of the camera that actually holds the memory card slots, that's the side that it was blowing on, was just continuously blowing on, you know, the room temperature air right on it. And it was just enough to keep the camera at a point where even though it was warm, it never, ever overheat. So I couldn't get the camera to overheat. Now approaching the end of this, I just kept my camera rolling. We're, we're coming up to an hour and 50, close to an hour and 50 minutes. I'm going to the end of this video and the camera's battery died. It wasn't, it never overheat. It's just the battery just died. And I was like, you know what? I've been doing this 
recording 8K for almost two hours with just a fan on the R5, it was just nonstop recording. So that's pretty awesome. Now I will say I was recording to the SD card in IPB Lite 8K. I wasn't using the CF Express card, which I've noticed gets a little bit warmer than the SD card when recording 8K. So that might play a factor too. I did not test that, but at least if you need 8K footage, you have the ability to get 8K footage for long periods of time if you have a fan on set nearby. So that's helpful information. So anyway, I had a lot to share with you today. So thank you for staying, sticking around, getting all the tidbits and uh, let me know what you thought was beneficial in this video. And it was always a pleasure. Now, if you want to see more of my content, definitely check out the stuff that I've got on the side right here. And as always, you'll make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out. Hit that like button too if you like this type of stuff. See you guys later.